Hello, I'm Anthony Abeson. I'm an acting coach. I've been doing it for, wow, over 30 years. Today we're going to be working with a few non-actors. We're going to give them emotional result pressure. We've created one line. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so emotional, which is uh, pretty clearly uh, a demand that you get emotional just to make it even more diabolical. We're going to ask them to first try to produce that emotional result without any help from me. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so emotional. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so emotional. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to get so emotional. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so emotional. I really, I really, I really, I really didn't mean to get that emotional. <clears throat> I didn't mean to get so emotional. <laughs> this is so awkward. So who's the most important person in your life? You don't even have to say who it is. Okay. I'm from New York City, so like paying bills is a big thing for me. <laughs> Just being able to pay my rent and my bills. So I guess that'd be really sad if I couldn't do that. Would you tell me a little bit about your mom? My mother is a teacher. Well, was a teacher. She's a retired teacher now. Do you love her? Yes. As a kid, the idea of having to give the love of a dog away is just really sad. So could you picture them over here somewhere? And could you just very softly say to them, I love you? I love you. I love you, Mom. Did you ever have a dog? I did. What was his name? His name was Dude. What kind of dog? He was a little corgi, Pembroke Welsh corgi. Ate nothing but cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets. What happened to him? Uh, my parents had to put him down while I was working at a music festival. What would be the scariest thing about being homeless? I'd be afraid of getting beaten up or getting taken advantage of by people on the street. I'd like you to picture a, a really scary guy who's, who's looking at you. Do you worry about them? Yes. Would you just worry about them for a moment, please? It's intense. And he's coming closer to you. And he's a big, huge, scary guy. Mm -hmm. Dude, I miss you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. And that I was so close. Ah, uh, but that, yeah that you had to pass without me. I'm sorry that your last years you didn't get to see much of me. But I love you. What could happen to them that you worry about? There they are in their coffin. Now would you just very softly say goodbye? Goodbye. I'd love you. Say the line. I'm sorry I didn't mean to get so emotional. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so emotional. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get emotional. I'm sorry I didn't mean to get so emotional. I'm sorry I didn't mean to get so emotional. You started to believe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Remember, no bad juju. Mm -hmm. It really took me back to this sensational place of like feeling the weight of his paws and like feeling how hollow his belly felt. That it really kind of allowed me to connect with that moment. I'm more in touch with my feelings right now. Just thoughts of like different images, different smells. I really felt like like helpless. Yeah, with no family, no friends, and. That is completely the opposite of everything that I am.